Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Everybody, guys, another episode of <laughs> my controller is broken. Another episode of Pokemon Daybreak. If you guys are enjoying this series, show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. This is going up on Labor Day here in the United States, so uh, happy Labor Day. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, otherwise, and I'll be just real with you guys, I'm super duper tired, man. I spent all night last night playing Unite with my friends, and it was a great time. I had so much fun. But I'm excited to play Daybreak, you know, I've been enjoying this series, it's been pretty cool. I love our team, um, I really like this team, I think 07 super cool. Getting to use an Electros, and obviously you guys know I love me some Umbreon, and this is our number one selling Team Shiny shirt, you guys go to TeamShiny.com, check out all of our awesome designs there, if you guys are looking to pick up some sweet merch. But the uh, tank's been super cool, like the Focus Energy tank, I just really feel like this team is super dope. So, anyway, we're in Zeph Town, and my understanding is I need to go figure out like where this Hoopa situation is. I have no idea where I'm supposed to do that. I have no clue what is going on. I guess there's like some runes I need to find. I think it's here. I may actually need to go back, but I may have I may have just figured it out. Yeah, so I'm in the Zeph Ocean now. So this is a new location. I just throw down a, a repel, but um, this is a new location. So we do get an encounter once my repel runs out. Cause I never, oh, there's the ruin. That was pretty easy to find. And there's Dante. So that was incredibly easy to find. Um, let's actually see if I were to do encounters. I, I could get a Chin Chow. I could also get a Horsey, Whelmer, Carvana, Love Disc. Those all sound really good. So it seems like fishing would be the Chin Chow. I feel like I got a fish for it. So let's cast our rod and let's see if I can get that Chin Chow because the rest would be dupes. So let's see what happens. All right, our encounter is a Whelmer. Okay, so I was actually wrong, but you know what? Whelmer's not bad. Um, hopefully I can just catch it with a net ball. Honestly, I don't mind getting a Wilmer. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna weaken it though. Is there a way for me to weaken this like without too much of an issue? Maybe Darwin, I, you know, I can Toxic it with Darwin. That's probably my best bet to weaken this thing. So I'll Toxic it and uh, in a few turns, I'll start chucking some netballs at it. I think we'll catch it though. Cause by the time like a few turns of Toxic racks up, this shouldn't be an issue. And we caught it. That wasn't too bad at all. I only had to wait a few turns of Toxic, so. That works out, and uh, a long time A-Drive Army members know about the homie Blimp. So we got Blimp on the squad. Um, another water type, but you never know. Uh, we might end up using it. There's a, an item over here. Let's grab that, and let's go see what's up with Dante. Splash Plate boosts our water type moves. Not bad. The ruins of Zeph are a mystery. Surely their mere existence means there was once a land or civilization nearby. But here we are in the middle of the ocean. Hey, what's up? You're a real slowpoke, aren't you? Well, now that you're here, let's head into the ruins. Looks like the other ruined maniacs have already been here, but how deep does this go? Let's find out. Are there encounters? There's no encounters, okay. So that, that's fair. Maybe static encounters. Greetings, Explorer. Are you in the need of scuba gear to venture through the furthest reaches? Few people get to that area, let alone last long enough with the gear. Do you need it? I'll take the scuba gear, sure. Although I do have a limited supply, so when you're done, give it back to me. Unless it breaks, then meh. Are you guys trainers? If you wander too long in the ruins, you'll get spit right back out. I guess it's some sort of spell or curse. Even underwater, late into the labyrinth, you still get tossed. Doesn't that just irk anyone else? The sarcophagi, they're alive! Oh boy. I spoke to the two guys right here and apparently no one has ever found to the end of the labyrinth. Apparently there's some force that whips you out if you overstay your welcome. Supposedly part of the labyrinth is submerged in water so that researcher behind us gives us the rental scuba gear. I think the absolute best way to figure out what Squad Zero is up to is to find the end of the labyrinth ourselves. I think I'm capable. Do you think you're capable? I'll see you on the other side. Okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens. Is there like a timer that's gonna pop up on screen or do I just have to wing it? Are there encounters? There's no encounters, so I guess we'll just see what happens. I'm probably just gonna be really lost. So this is gonna be super awkward because I feel like this is gonna be one of those things where the entirety of this episode is gonna be, there's a relic copper. I think you just saw those. Most of this, this is gonna be, oh, oh. Okay, well this one's alive. I was gonna say, it's level 52. I was gonna say most of this is gonna be like edited out cause I'm just gonna be running around aimlessly. But I mean, I guess, I guess I can catch this thing cause that's a static. So I'll definitely take a, uh, a Cofagrius. I mean, just don't curse on me and we're good. It's gonna power split, that's fine. Um, Let's throw an Ultra Ball. I'm really worried about like the time thing though. Cause it, this could take a while. Um, He's gonna guard split again. I'll try another Ultra Ball. Level 50 Cofagrius, that's like really good. I caught it, sweet. Adding some really good stuff to the uh, the PC right now. Uh, this will be King Tut. Your boy King Tut, baby. 
Um, all right, well, I'll just keep keep roaming around and if anything good happens I'll, I'll keep you guys posted more relic copper. Like I said, this is a lot of this I feel like we're just gonna edit out cuz I don't know Unless I'm figuring out right now. What is this a button? I found a hard scale Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll just tell you guys when stuff happens an iron plate after battling another one of those dudes I'll Take the iron plate and the dread plate. So lots of plates here. Not bad a strong force draws near yeah, I'm already about to be kicked out and like I have I barely even started. I found another room, but I get another relic copper, but again, I, I I'm gonna get kicked out of this place before I even really have a chance. Yeah, I'm getting kicked out already. Dude, this this is crazy. How how are you supposed to do this? I have to just get lucky, I guess. I guess you just have to get lucky and stumble on the right path. And I get kicked out a second time. <laughs> attempt three. Attempt number four. Attempt number five. Only those with strength can persevere through obstacles. Do you want to use strength? Oh, I figured it out! A door was somewhere opened. Oh! I gotta find a, where the door opened. How, how, how is that a thing? Do I have to open the door every time? How do I know where the door is? It's not here. Oh, uh, tell me I don't have to, I have to open the door every single time, dog. Oh, it didn't work, dude. I, I found that thing that that was kind of dope where I could open a door, but I don't know if you have to do that every single time. And then, again, am I going to be able to get back there every single time? Because I don't know if I remember. This is attempt six, by the way. I found the door again, but it took me a long time. Or I found the, the keypad to open the door, but it took me a long time to do it. So I'm on attempt seven again. Okay, I, I know how to get to this door for the most part, but I got to figure out where the door opens. Is this it? That's not it. That didn't work, man. This is crazy, dude. This is actually bonkers. I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. I think I have a general idea on how to get to where I need to get to. But, yeah, I think I figured out the pathway to get to the door opening. Yeah, look at that. So, I've got that down pretty well. But to open up the door that I need to open, I have no idea where that door is. Not a single clue. It's not this one. I was already in this one. I have no idea. Oh, is this it? Okay, I figured it out. But I, I I know I'm limited on time still. I got to the next area, but I'm definitely limited on time. Oh, dude. All I can do is hope that I can get to the scuba part and that I have enough time. Maybe it resets your time. I don't know. And I don't know what's with the block above my camera. Oh, this is ridiculous, dude. I finally figured it out. I don't know if I can get back to it, but I figured it out. Is that where I walked in? I don't think that's where I walked in. What is that? A relic gold. Oh, that's cool. Present, present a being who has mastered the sea. Tank, a doorway opened somewhere. Here we go again, dude. I gotta do the same thing. Oh my goodness. I just have to get lucky at this point. I, I don't really even know. Wait, I have scuba gear. Okay, I'm, I am I figured out the scuba part, but I don't know how much time I have. Oh, and there's clam pearls to battle. That's cool. I found a relic statue. Tons of stuff to sell, but I want to get through this, man. I feel like I'm so close. Like we legitimately got through multiple rooms and the strong force draws near. My time is almost over here. I'm going to end up losing. I'm going to end up losing. Again, I don't even know how how I'm supposed to do this. This is crazy. I guess I'll get the, the item. I'm not gonna have enough time. And it sends you all the way back to the beginning, dude. I, I, I have a lot, I'm at a loss of words. All right, I'm gonna be real with you guys. We got so close doing this. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's a guide because this is, this is ridiculous. I'm legit gonna spend all day on this. I'm just gonna see if there's a guide. Okay, I finished room number one, and again, I'm just gonna be real with you guys. I'm looking at a guide, and I'll tell you what, I was not gonna figure this out without the guide. The fact that I got as far as I did, I would say is pretty impressive. All right, and I've completed area number two, and then I'll tell you what, area number three is actually bonkers, bro. I'm gonna explain it here in a second once I figure it out. So the way you actually have to unlock this floor, and I don't even know how you're supposed to know this, is you need to knock out three love discs to be able to continue. How does anyone, and you only have a certain amount of steps to do it. This is ridiculous. 
All right, now that I've beaten three love discs, the door does open up, and then I just have to kind of backtrack. But I tell you what, this was a crazy puzzle, dude. This was something else, man. <laughs> I don't know how you do this without the guide. I really have no idea how you do this without the guide. I think we're going to make it this time. I think this is the way out. Wait, am I, is there still another floor? Is this it? It seems the valve on the scuba gear broke, rendering it useless. Really hope that scientist guy doesn't care. Okay, I think we did it. I think we finally did it. And a ladder. And another ladder. And we are in the Zeph ruins. Oh. We did it. We did it. Oh my goodness. Never again. Never again. There's no encounters here. There's the, he made it, Dante made it too. A drive over here. All right, so listen, I know I had to cheat to look it up guys, but like legit, I don't know how you get through that without looking it up. I made it to the third part. Like I made it to the scuba spot, but I don't know how you know to knock out three love discs. I don't know where it tells you that. I have, I have, how do you figure that out on your own? I would have been spending days on this thing. I, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. We made it. Honestly, I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Let me go look at that tablet. No good, it's all Greek to me. Is that an understood idiom in Pokemon? I have no idea. Anyway, well, Adrav, what's going on with your bag? It's glowing. Take that meteorite sample you've got. What the heck? It's so bright. Put it on the centerpiece. What, Adrav? Oh, my Arceus, where have you come from? I've never met a grounder before, and today I see two. I'm in awe. Apologies, I haven't introduced myself. I am Anelka. How did you get here? Is Hoopa wreaking havoc again? The other gentleman that appeared here was incredibly rude and dismissive, so I'm a bit confused. Squad Zero is here before us. You don't know anything about Hoopa. Perhaps our Elder Zenith can tell you. Although, I'm sure that other man is speaking with him right now. Why don't you come to my place for a bit? Oh boy, you look tired. You should rest. Thank you for that. I picked these up this morning. Here, take them with you. Two revival herbs. Oh boy, that they're basically saying you're about to go into a crazy battle. You need help. That's what they're saying. There's a swallow. I don't know where we are. You're a grounder too. Some really rude grounder came through. A friend of yours or something? I don't know him. I guess we'll just keep exploring this town. This seems like a city or something. Found a shiny stone. Oh, there's a patch of grass here. That's interesting. Oh, we can get something too. I'll take it. I mean, that could be dope. Let me grab this item and then we'll grab our encounter. I got the soothe bell, which is nice. And let's see what encounter I get. Didn't expect to get an encounter in the sky here. And a ditto! Yo, if this is hidden ability ditto, that could actually be so clutch. But like, what do I wanna... You know what though, honestly, I think... I think I can... What do I wanna do here? I don't think hidden power rock is gonna knock him... Oh, he's really fast. That shouldn't knock him out. Yeah, I can do two hidden power rocks. He's just gonna hidden power rock me back and I should be able to catch him with an ultra ball. Yo, ditto would actually be dope. Not that... Well, he didn't have his hidden ability. If he had hidden ability, it would actually be really cool. Yeah, he's gonna be hard to catch because he's an Electros. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch out a Juggernaut because Juggernaut should be able to take any hit from the, the Ditto. I got it! Sweet, we caught a Ditto. Let's go, baby. It's Mystique. All right, I gotta heal up because I feel like there's a big battle brewing here. This guy's got a Pokemon egg, but I can't carry it because I don't have any space for it. I do kind of want his egg though. How do I get that item? Give me something good. An earth plate, lots of plates. I feel like we found so many plates in this episode. I wanted to study mega evolution, but if I was ever to test something, thing, I need someone on the ground to help me. Would you be willing to help me? There's a small outpost located somewhere down on the mainland. Unfortunately, I don't know where it is and if it's still up and running, but they sell an assortment of alarite that I need to make something special. If you can find that outpost, return here pronto. I need to find an outpost that makes alarite so I can come back to this dude and he can give me mega stones. Or Mega Ring, I don't know which. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, it's Darkrai and Cresselia. Okay. All right, we're busted into the main area here. Sky Temple, floor one. No encounters. I found a door key. Oh, wow, this is about to be a maze, dude. I just had to fall through a hole in the floor that was really hard to find to ultimately get a door key that may or may not unlock a door, this door. And I don't know what we're doing right now. This is this is just the episode of me being lost right now. An appreciative observer acknowledges the arts. Painting and sculptures alike, a keen eye can tell. 
of two that are unique. What does that even mean? Oh, there's a button. I pressed it. Oh, there's another button. Okay. I found I found two buttons so far. Uh There's another button. Okay. I found three buttons so far. I suppose that that's a good thing. Okay, the staircase is open. That's a good good start. Ah, oh, well, I ain't got all day. Hand it over. I don't know how far away they are. Huh, who are you? Who are you? I'm the big cheese of Squad Zero, Carrasco. You, however, are a nosy little brat. You dare interfere with me? Bring it. All right, let's see what this guy's got, man. You know they hyped up this battle, so. He's gonna kick things off with a Gly score. Okay, um, I obviously cannot touch Gly score. So, let's see here. What do I wish to do against Gly score? Um. Why is this thing so hard for me to deal with? I think I gotta go tank and just go for Ice Beam. He's gonna Toxic and miss. Yo, that's so clutch. Ice Beam. He's gonna straight Earthquake, that's fine. We can take it and Ice Beam should knock him out. And it does, okay. That's one down, four to go. A Swamper. Um, I mean, I have Energy Ball. I'm just not convinced I live another hit from Swamper. So... I wonder if I can go Batwoman and try to poison him. I feel like he's gonna go for a ground sight move. Tell me how Swampert's really hard, by the way. Um, Yeah, why don't I go Batwoman to see if he goes for an Earthquake? He does Earthquake. And now I'm gonna U-turn. Okay. And then I guess I just go Darwin here. He's gonna Scald. He does not burn me though. I think I Toxic. Or I baby doll eyes for the earthquake. Yeah, let's baby doll eyes for the earthquake. Okay, there's the earthquake again. Doesn't do too much. I think I toxic and just try to whittle this thing down. It's gonna earthquake. We take that pretty well. I think I'm gonna snarl now to protect against the scald. I can take one more earthquake here. Okay, and we are chipping him down. I'm gonna have to use my first potion of the battle. So we have three potions. This is our first one. We're gonna use it on Darwin. And then I think I just keep clicking Snarl at this point and hopefully I don't get burned. Snarl. He's gonna switch out into Tyranitar with Drought! I don't know what I'm supposed to do against this. If he Dragon Dance Zombie, bro, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna just click Protect. He Eruptions, okay. I think I Snarl a second time. Okay, that did a lot, but I did I did okay. And the lower his HP is, the less eruption does. So I'm gonna protect again. Let me think about this. Can I live another one? I think I live another one. I'm gonna snarl again. He's gonna switch out, go Swampert. Okay, that's actually really big. Okay, I'm gonna protect. He's gonna take more poison. Okay, there is an inherent really big problem here though. And that is that, that Tyranitar is gonna run my face, dude. I'm gonna go Batwoman on the Earthquake. That Tyranitar is gonna run my face. Okay, Fly knocks him out from here. I don't know if U-Turn does though. I think I U-Turn. Okay, he's gonna go for Scald, right? We presume Scald comes off here. So I think I have to go tank, cause he's not gonna earthquake. So I'll go Scald, then he should knock himself out to the... He stealth rocks? What? There goes all my switching. All right, what is he gonna do now? Oh, dude, okay, so he has drought, he has eruption. I feel like my dude has to have solar beam. I feel like he has to have solar beam. He's gotta have solar beam. I'm not sure what I'm even supposed to do here. I'm gonna predict a solar beam, go Batwoman. The problem is, Batwoman is gonna take stealth rock every time it does have solar beam, dude. But it's gonna take Stealth Rock every time it comes in, bro. I'm 
Okay. I'm gonna U-turn. I can't keep doing that, though. I'm gonna go tank on the eruption. This might knock me out, though. No, no, no tank, no! I think I have to go 07 and just Miracle at this point. He's gonna eruption. Oh, 07! Okay. Here comes Nocti- what is this? I don't know what this is. I think I've used one potion, guys. If I use two, I'm sorry. I think I only use one. I'm gonna... I have Hyper Potion, Full Restore. I'm gonna use a Full Restore on 07 here. I don't know what this Noctivian's got. He's got Dark Pulse. Okay, actually, if I can get a Mirror Code off, this is massive. Don't flinch. He's a dark type. You can't use you can't use the mirror code against a dark type. All right, I have one potion left. I gotta go Darwin here, and hope I live this. Yeah, I live it. I I can't believe that just happened. Confused, right? Okay. I think my play here is I. I toxic. Okay, he's really not doing much to me. I get a toxic off, which is nice. And then I think I protect. Okay. Grass whistle, he's gonna try to put me to sleep. I mean, do I, do I wanna be put to sleep? Not really, right? Storm actually can hit him super effectively with flamethrower. I'm assuming he's dark and grass, right? That's that's what he looks like to me. I need I think I actually have to keep Darwin at full health, otherwise I'm gonna lose. Like just straight up lose. I'm wondering. So U-turn from Noctile actually or er, U-turn from Batwoman actually wrecks. I'm just gonna bank on a grass whistle miss here. It doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. Okay. So I had I had a win an out there, but that's not gonna happen. Um Cause I could've I could have U-turn. Here comes the Dark Pulse. I, I really can't afford to lose health here. Just gonna confuse Ray again. He takes a ton of damage. I'm at 76. I can take one more switch in here with Batwoman. I think I have to. It's gonna full restore me, dog. You have got to be kidding me, bro. Like, this is a joke. This is a joke. Confuse Ray. I, I can't keep staying in. I'm gonna lose Pokemon. I almost feel like at this point I gotta go storm and get a flamethrower off. He's gonna grass whistle. He's gonna Grass Whistle. I gotta hope he misses. He Dark Pulses for some reason. All right, I gotta go for Flamethrower. No flinch. Dog, you've gotta be kidding me, bro. Let's go, Storm, let's go! And a bit, a Bisharp. What am I gonna do against a Bisharp right now? Okay, so I do have Juggernaut. I think I have to let Storm go down here. He's got Sucker Punch. All right, Juggernaut, I need you to I need you to hit an earthquake. Don't flinch me. I won. I almost, if, if he flinches me there again, I think I lose. What's your problem? Gotta stick up your butt or something? Get out of my way! Incredible display of skill to dispatch such a toxic individual. I am Zenith, the elder of this floating paradise. I take it you came for the same information he did. It appears you two weren't on the same page then. He requested a specific item, but is left without it. As far as your pondering is concerned, allow me to explain. More than a hundred years ago, this island was hidden away into the sky. The responsibility falls on Hoopa. 
This is a nasty beast that is capable of ripping the fabric of time and space. It often uses portals, which science theorizes as wormholes, to reach between dimensions and places within the same dimension. Long story short, once upon a time, a trainer tamed the beast for a long time. But after the wars, Hoopa went rogue. It still fell for its trainer, so it hid him away in, in a city forever raised from the earth and sealed into the ground. There into the sky, in order to protect him. Ah, you have great vision. Well, it was not who, I who tamed Hoopa. It was my grandfather. Hoopa went on its own, and thus the only way to ever reach people within this city required some power of Hoopa itself. Yet both of you and the other men have arrived here. From what I was able to gather from him, a meteor struck, and samples of its remains is what allowed you both to enter the old temple. I find that very interesting. Perhaps Hoopa was responsible for the meteor. I would wager that going through a Hoopa portal would endow an entity with the same energy that Hoopa possesses. Now, it's impossible to summon Hoopa, but the other man asked for a different item altogether. Our history is ingrained with Sinnoh mythology, and the city was a holy one. As such, one of the four Azur flutes was laid here. The flute itself is used to calm Lord Arceus, but it has not been used in a millennium. Perhaps it's better to be to be put to use and not hidden on this island any longer. I'm gonna get the old flute, a very old looking flute with a blue tinge to it. It feels mystical to hold. You should follow him, he may be up to no good. Furthermore, I hope what you seek has been fulfilled, and I'll put my faith in you to see the actions of that Korra, the other, the other guy. Before you leave, there's a man named Francis on the island. He may have a tool for you that'll be beneficial on your travels. Do see him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That was ridiculous. I walk away losing both Storm and Tank, but somehow the team is still alive. And we have to pick up the pieces. We have to pick up the pieces. So this is the guy, I gotta find Alarite for this dude. And, oh, there's a PC right here! Go figure there's a PC right here. I had no idea I could actually access this PC. That would have been nice to know, but I can get the egg at least. But dude, we just lost two a great Pokemon, man. And I'm actually really bummed about that. Goodbye to Storm. And goodbye to my friend Tank. I loved you, buddy. You guys were great. And now I've got to figure out who do we add to the team. Oh, it's Quick Powder. That's interesting. I've got some good stuff. I mean, I really have some good Pokemon that I could utilize. Um, I'm thinking I, I'm definitely going to want a Zumarill. I feel like having a Fairy on the team is just too good to pass up. And it's just a really strong Pokemon. And then from there, um, I don't know. I think we bring Megatron to the team and I try to get a, um, I try to get his Mega Stone. And we can have Mega Aggron on the team, which I think would be actually kind of busted. Um, so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards these two Pokemon, but obviously they need to be trained up. But actually for now, I need to actually grab the egg because there was an egg that we can grab here. So I've got this egg and it looks awfully like a Togepi. And I think this is a good spot for us to wrap up today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button down below if you guys did. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I'm very bummed that we just lost two, two awesome Pokemon, but we got through the battle, so I mean, that's pretty sweet. Oh, you don't heal me now? Wait, I, maybe I can sleep. I think you can sleep. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna be that, guys. Well, we're gonna have to find that all right later because I, I need Megas. Like, I'm at such a disadvantage without them. I feel like having a Mega would make all the difference, but that's that for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll go by A-Drive, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Daybreak. Peace.